What are the biggest obstacles to productivity? Mm. Well, we touched on that there. Um, basically, it's getting distracted, isn't it? So losing your focus or being distracted is quite easy to um, start off your week and to look at all the things you want to catch up on or get caught up on all the small tasks that either might be easier or more fun or, uh, yeah, just less taxing. So don't get distracted by the little tasks. Really focus on the bigger, more important tasks and really focus your time and energy on them. Move the smaller things to later in the day or later in the week. Um, that's really important. So like for me, I schedule like a lot of my creative work and content creation on a Monday and I, I leave, you know, paperwork and administration to a Friday when I don't have the same level of energy. So really making sure that you focus on things and remove all those blocks. Don't get caught up with colleagues and chat if you're in an office setting or you're in a, a student setting. Really make sure you don't get caught up in those chit chats and cats up. Move them a little bit as well. Really focus that time, really harness this Monday morning that's great. And I'd also say like, try and resist multitasking. Um, I don't know how many tabs you have open at the moment. I have quite a few at the top of my computer at the moment, but it's quite four. easy. You got four. Well, I'm yeah. Doing, yeah, I've got twelve at the moment. Oh, no. <laughs> so it can be very easy to, you know, have your Facebook open or Messenger or you know something that you're researching or maybe you've got a bit of, you know, shopping up there or something. It's very easy to get distracted. So turn off notifications, turn off messages, close those tabs really focus on what you're doing um, and avoid that multitasking. Yeah, I would agree. I have a problem with getting distracted because I will start a task, but then when I'm not inspired, ah, okay, let me check something else, distract my mind for a couple of seconds and then come back to it. But then I need more time to get back into it. Very ineffective, very ineffective. And it's those breaks that really... Um, reduce our productivity so if you're in an office setting and people keep interrupting you then it takes you longer to get back into the flow and there's great statistics about just how much time you lose i think it's like oh, something like it's something ridiculous like the equivalent to like a day per week you lose just by time out chatting or being interrupted and then trying to get back in the zone so you know really be aware of that find a quiet space put your phone in a different room close those tabs, just focus on what you're doing. You'll be amazed at what you can achieve when you are more focused and less distracted.